Hello everyone, this is the Andrew Dahl, aka the German Viking, and uh, I wanted to talk about Brie Larson in an article that I found. It's uh, a few days old, but these HGWs uh, really want to prop up Brie Larson, and uh, this is from Dark's, uh, Dork Side of the Force, uh, by, written by McDowell. And uh, it says, uh, Star Wars, uh, please uh, give uh, uh, Brie Larson a lightsaber. Thank you. Brie Larson has expressed interest in portraying a Star Wars character in the past. It, is it likely to happen? Who knows, but we really want it to happen. Please. W why? I mean, uh, looking at Star Wars right now, uh, I mean, it's garbage uh, at uh, the, this point in time. Yeah, why w would you be a part of Star Wars? Uh, and w why would you uh, cast someone like Brie Larson that is an intersectional feminist and is... I mean, maybe it's perfect for Star Wars. I mean, it, 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 it would be a perfect fit because now she has a different platform to shit on uh, audience and men and uh, has an even bigger uh, megaphone to uh, bash men and tell them how awful we are. Uh, so he, let's uh, let's go dive into this article. We've seen Brie Larson e uh, exhibit unmatchable cosmic powers as a female superhero, extraordinary Captain Marvel. Yeah, th that's basically you described a Mary Sue in Captain Marvel. That's what you did. We've also seen her exhibit exceptional acting abilities in films like Room. Uh, I mean, that's uh, subjective. Which gave her the chance to portray human emotion with both skill and ease. That's just a subjective uh, assertion. Now that she's part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, she's officially in the Disney circle and could uh, totally make uh, the leap into a, uh, a universe like Star Wars. She's already been to space. Like, not really, but still. Uh, what type of article is this? Is this, is this an, uh, it sounds like an op-ad. Uh, Larson has already admitted she, she wouldn't mind joining the Star Wars franchise. Yeah, because of course she wouldn't. I mean, she she's already getting paid more than her male uh, counterparts for doing way less uh, work. Um, I mean, Robert Downey Jr. made 250000 uh for his first movie and Brie Larson made $5 million. That's 20 times more. Uh, than what uh, our uh, Robert Downey Jr. got, and uh, it's also ten times more than uh, what uh, Chris Hemsworth uh, got. Larson has already uh, shedding uh, tears over holding um, uh, Samuel L. Jackson's lightsaber proof. She has first wheeling dreams. I wish I was a Jedi, she said in an interview. Same girl, same. Okay. And hey, she may not have any formal training in any official forms of lightsaber con uh, combat, but she ha does have mad uh, beat saber skills, which is basically the same thing, right? Okay, Jesus Christ. You're inserting yourself in this article uh, quite a lot. In addition to her impressive saber skills, the actress is also known for a portrayal of strong female characters on screen and happens to be one in real life. Yeah, so all other women that have been on screen, all other women that have existed in life before her have not been strong. That's quite an assertion. Isn't that kind of sexist? I mean, eh, 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 oh my God. there isn't Gal Gadot a strong woman. She was actually in the military and she played Wonder Woman. Jesus freaking Christ. If the secret trilogy has taught us anything, it's that Star Wars doesn't need, uh, uh, doesn't need just more strong women. Oh my god. What, what it does need is strong writing, not strong female characters. Jesus freaking Christ. I mean, uh, 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 is Rose a strong female character? Are uh, we serious getting those type of characters? Uh, and happens to be one in real life. Why are you repeating yourself? Uh, if the sequel trilogy has taught us anything, it's that Star Wars doesn't just need more strong women. It's, it thrives because of them. It always has. Carrie Fisher started it way back in 1977. I gave a stellar performance in The Last Jedi. Again, that's a subjective uh, uh, assertion, but also um, 
it's it's good to see you actually acknowledge that uh, women existed before Brie Larson. <laughs> uh, that that's a first for this article. Uh, she's got the moves, the drives, the experience. Disney has uh, to give her this. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, th that's just nepotism at this point, and and uh, affirmative action. I would also claim. Why does she have to uh, uh, get a role? I mean, she's not that good as Captain Marvel. She's been in two movies in the MCU so far. I mean, Jesus Christ, my cat is uh, making noise. But yeah, I mean, why does she have to get uh, get that role? This is just... This is the only industry you can do this, where you can advocate for someone getting it. This is basically shilling. And I just realized this. This is basically just shilling for a a rich, privileged white woman to get even more money and fame and get a bigger money. This is basically shilling. Uh, which Jedi character could Larson take on in a future Star Wars movie or TV show? We haven't met too many uh, female Jedi outside the Clone Wars or prequel films. One has yet to appear in a canon uh, novel who isn't already played by, you know, the irreplaceable uh, Daisy Ridley. And it's highly unlikely Disney will bring back favorite uh, legends like Mara Jade or J Jaina Solo. Yeah, and why is that? That's because Disney just uh, erased the expanded universe just like that. Instead of just uh, maybe looking into the expanded universe and say uh, th th there are some continue, uh, continuation errors, so uh, we only make some of the books canon. No, they just swapped ev everything out. <clears throat> but here's what cool, uh, what's cool about Disney+. Plus. And the future of Star Wars the theatrical releases just about anything that doesn't involve major legends characters is possible. But, I mean, didn't you uh, earlier say... In uh, in this article, just to uh, go back on on the previous paragraph as well, didn't you just say that uh, you you need more uh, more female characters uh, in uh, in Star Wars? Uh, here, if the secret trilogy has told us anything, it's that Star Wars just uh, doesn't just need more strong women. It th it thrives because of them. And then you mentioned the prequels and the Clone Wars, so. So you said it needs more women, but uh, ignore the the ones that have already been in uh, in the canon already. Uh, I shake my head. Uh, she could uh, play a uh, completely new character, giving young girls an okay woman of all ages everywhere. Let's be honest, someone to look up to. Who doesn't want that? Uh, so Leia is not someone you can look up to. Are you serious? What? And Larson's options aren't just limited to live-action films or shows either. Voicing a video game character who uses the lightsaber thanks to motion capture tech would still let her do all the lightsaber uh, things. It still counts. Yeah, but you have to talk to EA about that. That's not going to happen. I mean, you, you, you people bitch and moan about uh, the, the white male character in uh, Jedi Fallen Order. So, I mean... Her chance to become a Jedi is still out there, uh, out there somewhere. Let's hope uh, she keeps fighting for it. C aggressive ne negotiations, if ne necessary, until someone says yes. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Yeah, this is basically just chilling for uh, for Brie Larson to uh, get uh, a job and more. Uh, my God, how how. How is is journalism so unethical these days? I mean, advocating for the, the this woman who is a sexist and a racist, uh, which I have proven by uploading the the video of her uh, saying that she. Sh I mean, uh, I don't hate white men, uh, but they shouldn't be uh, uh, reviewing movies that are meant for them. But that also means women and and um, minorities should not review movies that aren't meant for them either, if we were going by that logic. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye.